Hello again, my friends. Jesse here from REF Sense. As always, I'm super excited to have you with me. I know I'm like a broken record. I say that all the time, but I really do mean it. I am honored to have you all on this channel with me. So I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I love to smell good, and I know that you all do as well. But I actually enjoy smelling another way for folks as well, and that is I love to smell unique. I have fragrances in my collection that I know that very few people in this world actually have, but that's because I have the luxury to purchase niche fragrances, indie fragrances, and so on. So for those that don't have that luxury, what are they to do? You've got two or three fragrances that you feel are leaving you smelling good, but a little bit basic. How about combining some of those fragrances? That's right, through a process called layering, you can take two fragrances, put them in one, and take your fragrance game to the next level. So today, I'm going to show you some really awesome fragrance combinations that you can try at home to really stand out from the crowd. This is going to be great. So I'll be perfectly honest with you, I wasn't always the biggest fan of layering fragrances. Not that I had anything against it or whatever, I just didn't, I just didn't have time to experiment with a bunch of different combinations. I've got so many fragrances in my collection that when I want to smell a certain way, boom, I've got something for it. Uh, but I saw some influencers talking about fragrance combinations. I saw some of my followers recommending some to me and I finally just caved and started trying them out. I gotta tell you, I'm really glad I did because it is a lot of fun to layer fragrances. Now, in the end, it's going to depend on your level of experimentation. Some things are gonna work, some things are not. But keep trying and see what works for you. But here's a few places you can start. The first place we're gonna start is with something that is a little bit romantic, but still a night out. And these are some really good fragrances. The first bottom layer we're going to have is Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. This spicy fragrance is heavy on the ambroxan and ambroxan, there it is, and ambroxan fragrances actually work great as a base. And on top of this, we are going to spray Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, a very vanilla, mint, and lavender-based fragrance. These two fragrances pair beautifully with one another. The first time I tried this, my wife immediately noticed, and this is now one of my one of her favorite combinations of fragrances that I wear. And sometimes I don't even tell her that I'm layering these, but she just loves them anyways. Uh, it gives you some romantic vibes, but the spice from the ambroxan and the pepper in the Sauvage is still gonna keep it a little bit edgy. So be sure you try these two fragrances out, okay? The next one is going to be um, warm and, I said, well, I say warm, it's gonna be sweet. Uh, and good for the fall and winter time. And that is going to involve this vanilla bomb that I talk a lot about, which is the Armani Code Absolute. Do I have to turn the right way? No, I don't. There it is. The Armani Code Absolute. Vanilla and suede being the main notes in here. You're gonna spray about one or two sprays of this fragrance on your skin, and then you are going to top it with Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. So you're gonna go about a two to one ratio. Two sprays of this, one spray of this but it has a really good scent profile in my opinion and the dry down is fantastic once again i think this is going to be a little bit more for the fall and winter time the um the sweet notes from this dry down actually kind of cancel out a little bit of the suede here so this is not going to be as office friendly as just this fragrance would be this is an office safe sweet fragrance but this is gonna take a little bit away from that. Still works great for dates, but I think this is gonna be more uh, to be used in a social setting in the cold winter months. It can be go, it can go day or night, okay? Uh, Armani Code Absolute and Blue de Chanel. Be sure to check these out. All right, for number three, we're gonna go for the summertime. And the first fragrance is gonna be something that is for the boldest of bold men out there. It is Moschino Toy Boy. Now, I don't talk very much about this. And to be honest, I don't reach for this as much as I used to because it is a very, very, very 
floral scent. I know I said berry a lot, but I'm telling you, it is a rose bomb. But it's also got some notes of uh, pepper in here, making it quite a bit spicy. And it is a loud projecting fragrance and it lasts a long time. I'm talking 12 to 14 hours. But if you really want to elevate this fragrance, then you should add something citrusy and fresh, which is going to be Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This right here smells like the beach, but when combined with this Moschino, oh my word, it is an absolute masterpiece for the summertime. I had no clue that these two would work, and I saw um, I saw another video from another creator that talked about this layering combination. It got me thinking, it got me intrigued, and when I tried it, oh my word, I was hooked from the beginning. So be sure if you have these couple of layering combinations, try one and two. Um, you're gonna go about two sprays of this on top of one spray of this, all right? Boom, there you go, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense with Moschino Toy Boy. Number four, if you want to get incredibly romantic, you're gonna be going for this. Now, I actually don't have the original fragrance that was recommended by a friend to me um, because that one is from Joe Malone, which is Myrrh and Tonka. I really do enjoy that fragrance, but I don't have a full bottle of it. I'd only had some samples. However, I do have a fragrance from the house of Zara that is very, very close to that Myrrh and Tonka that I use. And that is Zara Magnificently Dubai. This is uh, this has got that sweet um, Tonka bean and uh, sort of benzoin, ambery, myrrh fragrance, uh, fragrance notes right here. It doesn't last super long. I'm talking about five, five and a half hours. But with this Zara fragrance, you're looking at maybe $35 or $40. And I actually bought this retail at that price, so you could probably find it a little bit cheaper online. But what are you going to layer this with? Well, you're going to layer it with a Beastie Dior Sauvage Elixir. Now, the lavender and cinnamon in this fragrance are absolute perfect matches for the various notes in Magnificently Dubai. And when you spray these on right here, it just gives you this really nice, uh, cuddly type of vibe that you usually only find in something mm, like something like uh, Armani Stronger With You. You absolutely get that. But this is going to make you smell a little bit different than anything else that is actually being worn by someone. So Myrrh and Tonka, if you have the Jo Malone, if you don't, then try out the Zara Magnificently Dubai, a fraction of the price, and it still lasts about the same time as the Myrrh and Tonka. But layer it with the Sauvage Elixir. It is a great combo. Finally, one of the best fun night out fragrances. Uh, this is a banger, and so many people, whenever I told them I wore this uh, this particular fragrance combination, they kind of gave me that weird look uh, because one of these fragrances is marketed for women, okay? But as I've talked about in uh, one or two of my other videos, especially on TikTok, um, fragrance does not know gender, all right? If it smells good, you wear it. So first off, we're going to start with the uh, one of the most popular partying clubbing fragrances of all time and that is Versace Eros. This is the Eau de Toilette. It is really good on the mint, the vanilla, and the apple. Those three notes are what have made this one incredibly popular. But you pair it with Ariana Grande Cloud. This is an incredible Baccarat Rouge 540 clone that is a fraction of the price and it is just a little bit sweeter. You got more notes like, uh, it smells a little bit like whipped cream on the top. But when you combine these two fragrances right here, you get something that is absolutely magical and will definitely have you standing out. Guys can wear this, ladies can wear this. I have a great friend of mine named Megan who really, really loves wearing Versace Eros and uh, it just gives off some of the best vibes. But trust me guys, do not skip on the Ariana Grande cloud, especially whenever you have this one. As a matter of fact, I was just told today that Ariana Grande cloud pairs really well with Club de Nuit Intense Man. So I'm gonna be trying that. I really, I mean, I didn't think that something like this would go with a Creed Aventus type, type fragrance, but 
We're going to find out a little bit later and I'll let you know probably on TikTok how it pairs. But in the meantime, Eros and Cloud, check them out. And there we have it, my friends, some really good fragrance combinations for you to try out. I promise these work, at least on my skin. I've worn them all more than once, more than twice, more than three times. I've tested them in every way possible. I can tell you there is something to these combinations that you can enjoy. I hope this has really helped. Please be creative. Please explore what you can with your fragrances and remember that no matter what, if you like it, wear it. Who cares what anybody else thinks, man? You are unique, you are special, you are awesome, and you are worth the effort that you put into yourself. So remember that I love you and be sure to love yourselves while you're at it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Be sure to donate um, to some of my funds if you get a few minutes and find me on my other social media channels. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you again. Be good.